Thank you for watching my video. We had to make a how-to video for a technology class and I chose to make my video about how to burn a CD using iTunes. Rather than actually using a video camera, I used screenshots from my computer to illustrate the steps involved. I also added a couple of my own pictures. Alright, one of the first things you need to do when you want to burn a CD in iTunes is to create a playlist and this is pretty easy. With iTunes open, you select File at the top and then select New Playlist. This will create a new playlist that you can name. I use the name Demo for my playlist. If you click on your playlist, you will see that you have no music in your list yet. So the next thing you need to do is select some songs that you want to burn onto your CD. This is pretty easy to do as well. All you have to do is find the songs that you want to put into your playlist click the song and then drag the file over to your new playlist and drop it in. After you have selected the songs for your CD, you can click on your playlist and then rearrange your songs so they are in the sequence uh, you want to listen to them in. Again, you can do this by clicking the, clicking the file and dragging it up or down in the sequence until you are satisfied with the order of your songs. Once you have your playlist set up the way you want it, you can now insert a blank CD into your computer's CD writable drive. My computer's drive is on the side of the machine. After the blank CD is in the drive, you can click Burn in the bottom right hand corner of the iTunes window. When you click Burn, a dialog box will open and ask you to select a couple of options. First, select the button beside Audio CD since we are creating a music CD. Then you can select the amount of time you want between each track. In this case, I selected one second. When you've selected all of your options, you can click the burn button that's in your dialog window and your computer will start burning the CD. You can watch the progress in the window at the top of the screen. This window will also display how much time is remaining for the job to be completed. From start to finish, this CD took about five minutes to burn. Once the computer is finished, you will hear a short audible tune and you can eject the CD. Once it is out of your computer's drive, you can put the CD into a regular CD player and listen to your music. Uh, and that's pretty much it for burning a CD, burning a CD in iTunes. Thank you for watching.